Hey guys, Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Actually, it's Joe Blue's day job. A couple things. If you're uh, into construction or home improvement projects, you're finding out that there's a lot of pieces that you need you can't find. There's not a great selection now in things because first we had to deal with the lumber shortage because we had a lot of the lumber mills that shut down because of COVID. There's also the beetle attacks in Canada because of global warming. There's the winters aren't as cold, so the beetles aren't dying and they're feeding on the trees. Then of course there's the tariffs that went through. So the lumber yards to make up for it kicked into overdrive. They ended up cutting down more trees and everything else, uh, which is great because the two by fours that were like $11 or so um, at the peak have come down into the threes. Again, some cases below the threes, back to pre-pandemic levels. The problem now is if you're looking at plumbing fittings, as well as electrical boxes, plastic ones, there are a lot of them are running out of stock. And as you can see here, <laughs> not a lot here to choose from. Normally all this stuff is stocked real high but there's a rosin shortage right now which is affecting everything so as you look here you see all of these empty shelves that normally have all the blue boxes You're beginning to see these fiberglass ones that are replacing them well it's great it's fiberglass this is actually a tougher box but when you think of 240 a piece for one of these versus typically one of your plastic boxes like this only being about 59 cents that adds to the cost of, of course your project we'll go down to the plumbing department here in a few minutes and we'll check that out too but same kind of issue there there's not a lot of selection though there's a lot of different plumbing pieces that are missing because for the sword. record let me say something if you've ever thought about needing to use one of these this tailpiece for your sink to hook up the faucet for the drain line step away from the sink don't go near it call a professional this is the worst piece of crap that you ever came up with sure you don't have to cut the drain lines to go ahead and get it through but can you imagine if this was your intestines and food had to go down it shit would never leave don't ever and I mean ever use one of these. Well, fortunately, this Home Depot is actually well stocked at the moment. Uh, the one I was actually in, in Central Virginia, uh, they were just about out of everything and that's where I found out about the rosin shortage. But the thing is, is you'll end up finding the fittings that are used the most, there'll be plenty of them because they're focusing in on making those parts as opposed to the lesser used ones. And as you can see, the stuff up here, which is, you know, not quite as frequently used as opposed to your regular elbows and things, they're not there. So you're going to end up having to shop around some. The other problem, too, is now this is where it gets to be crazy. Copper tubing. Copper tubing is outrageous. We're talking $32 right here for type L blue 10 foot piece of there's copper shortage in the world, and those prices are going up. But there's a way around that, and here's the thing you can do around that is using your PEX piping. PEX is actually a lot more cost effective. You can get a roll of it up to 100 feet long, and of course you can end up using the clamping fittings, or you end up having the rings. I like the rings myself because they're real easy, they're real quick, and it doesn't have to be straight through. The other advantage of using PEX piping is it will expand and contract. Um, my brother, God rest his soul, who used to live in Alaska, they would end up using that, of course, in the houses and under the houses. It will freeze up, it will expand, and when it thaws out, it will come back together. Unlike copper pipes, well, copper pipes in the wintertime, if you've got them under a house and it's not insulated, you have found out about that little split that's in there. The other nice thing about the PEX is, as opposed to having to either sweat the pipes, where you're actually taking the solder, heating it up, the torch and everything else, you can go through use those clamps or even the shark bites now the great thing about the shark bites you can use those with copper as well but you're talking about five dollars enough for each one of those fittings and elbows and stuff with the pex you can go through and you can make bends all over the place and just kind of like snake it through almost like wiring 
Um, I used to be a old school plumber that believed that everything needs to be copper and sweated um, until I built this duplex and I decided I'm going to do an experiment. On one side of it, I sweat all the copper pipes and put it in there and ended up figuring out the cost. And then the other side, I did all with PEX. Amazing thing was, is it was about 40% cheaper at that time to do it with the PEX. And it saved me about 50% of the time as far as the time to do it. And that was, I believe, in 2007. And I haven't had any leaks out of either of them. So durability wise, that PEX is a lot better as far as on your wallet thing and will help us to get out of this copper shortage. I'm Mark Holmes and hopefully these tips work for you. Next time we'll talk about the electrical wiring. Yeah, that's got to be outrageous and you don't want to use aluminum. I'll see you later.